Hey guys, this is Emmerich from Emmerich's Time Lapse, and today I'm going to teach you how to time lapse a waxing crescent moon set. Let's go. So to shoot a waxing crescent moon setting or rising, you first need to figure out what day it is. So the first thing you want to do is check on some websites or iPhone apps when you need to go out. The waxing crescent moon happens a few days after the new moon. You have a few days where this will be perfect as the moon will set a few minutes to a few hours after the sun sets. No need to be on location at one in the morning, for example. No one wants to do that. Today I'm gonna use photo pills to plan my entire shoots and this, that's actually the app I use all the time. And first, let's figure out when we want to shoot. So the first thing you wanna go is to moon, okay? So I'm gonna, we are actually in February now, but I'm gonna make it like I'm looking for uh, the same um, condition that I was when I was in Ascot Hills Park. So it was January 15, I believe. So if I go to January, I wanna capture the moon, let's say it's early January 2021, and I wanna capture the waxing crescent moon setting. So I'm like, okay, it's January 5th, for example. Um, I wanna capture the waxing crescent moon. So let's go a little more. Okay, we have the new moon right there, January 12. And as you can see, if I go a little bit more, now we have waxing crescent. 0.6% is not gonna be enough. Thursday, January 14, we have 3.5%. That could work. Uh, so if I go sunset, 5 p.m., and the moon set is at 6.51 p.m. So see, it's actually uh, pretty, pretty good. But if I go one day later, we have it at 8.4%. And I feel like 8%, closer to 10% is actually kind of nice. The moon will be uh, more visible in the sky. We can see that the sunset is at 5.08 p.m. and the moon set, moon set is at 7.55 p.m. So it's six, seven, eight, it's almost three hours later but it's still like early in the uh, evening. It's not too bad. And if you go to the next one, you can see like a uh, moonset is at uh, almost 9 p.m. So it's like four hours later. That's getting kind of a lot, but I mean, it's not too bad. I think we can actually do something really nice on Friday, January 15. So the thing is, if it's cloudy on that day, you can do one day before or one day after. You won't have to be on location at one in the morning. 9 p.m., you can actually have a nice, um, nice thing after this it's almost 10 p.m 11 p.m it's like one hour difference every day so thursday january 14 could work but the moon is only 3.5 percent it's still visible on the on the camera on the pictures uh but i feel like friday january 15 2021 is actually gonna be amazing okay so now that you know what day you need to go out you want to find a good spot to shoot it from you want to mix it with like a building a city skyline a mountain a landmark, whatever you want to mix it with. All right, so I'm gonna go on planner, okay? And as you can see here, we are January 1st, 2021. So remember, now that I know what day I need to go out, it's January 15. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna swipe all the way to January 15, which is right here, okay, January 15. We can see that the sun and the moon are actually really close from each other. So the blue line, the dark, big blue line is the moon sets. And the smaller blue line is actually the moon in the sky. If I want the downtown skyline, which is right there, we can see the buildings, okay? Um, I definitely need to be higher up north. Okay, that looks pretty good, but I just feel like there's nothing right here. It's like from the streets. So let's see maybe a little further away if I can, you know, find a spot. I know that there's some hills and some mountains here. We have a park called Ascot Hills right here. Let's see. Okay. Would that work? Hey, look at this. It looks like the sun, the moon set actually works perfectly with uh, the downtown skyline. Thing you need to remember is the buildings are high, you know, they're pretty tall. So the moon will probably reach the top of the buildings maybe 20 to 30 minutes before the actual moon sets. So you don't really want to focus on the moon sets right here on photo pills. You want to maybe take it maybe half an hour before for a good, the, the perfect lineup. So what great was this park here? It looks like we have a big trail and I can go up and down if needed. Right there, for example, you can see now it's a little different, but if I take it, oops, I lost it, okay. But if I take it maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes before, which is like 7.25, you can see that it's actually lining up really well with the skyline. So that's perfect. I feel like 
the moon would kind of reach the top of the buildings maybe around here and not the full moon set. The moon set will, you know, be behind the horizon, but since the buildings are higher, and what great with this location is, you know, if photo pills mm, is a little off, which can happen, I can go down the trail if needed um, to adjust my, uh, my, my composition and my shots. So that's pretty great. So there you go. Now I know when to go out. I need to go out on January 15 and I need to go to Ascot Hills Park in Los Angeles. Now that we have our location, the next step is to find a good friend to go shoot it with. <laughs> it's always more fun to actually time lapse with other photographers. And I decided to meet up with my friend John in Ascot Hills Park. Let's do it. Hey everyone. Woo. Uh, oh my God, I look like What's going on people? Today it's a new behind the scenes video. I am in Ascot Hills Park with John right there. Uh, you probably know this guy now. This is actually the first time I'm in the I'm gonna be shooting from this location. I don't know why I waited so long before coming here because the view is amazing. But today I have a mission. Um, I'm not only here for the sunset, we're also here for the moon crescent sitting behind the downtown skyline. So it's gonna be a really nice, uh, really nice evening. All right, let's do this. we made it to the first location the sunset location is not gonna be the same than the moon location to get like a better alignment for the moon later but for the sunset we are actually at a famous location I mean it's it's not that exciting don't get too excited it's literally just a, an opening in the fence golden hour right now um, we didn't come here for sunset really we really come here for the moon oh hey puppy oh. <laughs> we have a, a new friend <laughs> um, so right now it looks really nice we have some high clouds a little bit well actually I don't think there are clouds they look more like king trails oh, oh look they're creating a cloud yeah see that's how they make clouds in LA um, so yeah, I'm shooting two time lapses right now. One wide and one uh, with a shorter interval where I can see the, the sun like sitting behind the skyline. It's gonna look really nice. Uh, it's really hot and yes, I have a beanie even though it's hot, but uh, I haven't been to Barber in like four months. So it looks terrible right now, but it is really warm for uh, January. January, it's like 85, like 30 degrees Celsius. beautiful sunset kind of interesting because the Sun is sitting behind the skyline so it's creating some sort of shadows and rays of light moving around and then also um, you can see the sunlight like going through the buildings pretty much it's a very interesting sunset um, we did we didn't come here for sunset though all right so the problem is the clouds are not really in my shots. <laughs> They're like, see there's a big gap right there. And obviously I didn't like frame wide enough. I frame really wide, but there's like a big gap above downtown where the, the clouds are not. Otherwise it's just, uh, it's really pink. Looks really nice. at the second location now. Um, it's pretty much down the trail. Hi. So we're just waiting for the moon now. Um, it's about 40 minutes from now. There's another photographer. Well, we decided to move again to be a little uh, even further down because uh, we want really the moon to be at the top of the skyline. We don't want the moon to be on the side. I think right now 
we should be pretty good. I checked with photo pills, with Planet Pro. Um, we should be pretty good, I think, with this view right now. Shooting another one where with like a slow interval, so like four seconds right now, so the moon's gonna go down really fast. And when it's getting closer to the skyline, I'm gonna zoom in on the skyline and do like a one second interval time lapse. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm excited to see how it's gonna look like. And what voila, this is all you need to know to shoot a waxing crescent moon time-lapse. It's pretty simple, right? You can do the same thing for a moonrise or for waning, waning, waning crescent moon and every other phase of the moon, actually. That's how I plan any time-lapse with the moon or the sun. Thank you so much for watching this uh, tutorial slash vlog. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really like this new format, mixing like on location and tutorial. And if you want to learn more about time-lapse photography, please visit my website where I offer over 24 hours of online classes to learn everything you need to create professional content in 2021 and even make money from it if you want to. So check the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. We are almost at 50,000 subscribers. This is awesome. And I will see you next Friday. Bye-bye.